tutorial I'm going to take you through how to build your own open language collections. Uh, we're going to use material from the Open Spires project at Oxford, so this includes audio and image and text files. We'll also be looking at some YouTube material and all of this will feature the same powerful language tools and resources within the FLAX project. So follow me and I'll take you through the steps for how to build your own open language collections. So here we are at the homepage of the FLAX project website. What we're going to do now is we're going to log on in the top right hand corner. Uh, the FLAX team will provide you with a log on and you just need to email the following address to start building collections with us. Okay, so we're logging on and now you can see in the top right hand corner is my name as a registered user. So if we click on list collections, it will take us to an area where I am building collections or where I have um, placed finished collections. And the collection that I'm building is one here on financial crisis lectures using Oxford lectures and TED Talks. If you click on the About Collection tab, this will tell you a little bit more about the corpus that I'm building. Moving on to the Search tab, once again, like the other collections in FLAX, you can search for articles, titles, sentences, paragraphs, and collocations. So if I just type in a word here, such as crisis, hit search, and then it will find the articles within this corpus that I'm building that contain the word crisis, as you can see here. So we're now looking at a um, Open Spires podcast from Oxford, and I'll just play you the audio here. I'm Linda Yu. I'm a fellow in economics at St. Edmund Hall University of Oxford. I'm an economist and actually also a lawyer by training, uh, but I teach economics at the university. So I'm just going to take you through some of the features here within this text. And once again, you have the same word list features. So I've just clicked on highlight academic words within this transcript for this lecture. I'm clicking on the word globalization. Okay, so we've also got these um, word list features, including the keyword slider tool. So as I slide along to the right, you can see that words that are more frequently occurring across the text are appearing in blue. So scroll back to the left and you can see the words globalization, events, systematic, members, consultants, etc. Et These are the most frequently significant words occurring across the entire transcript. And as you move the slider over to the right, more words will appear. So this gives you an indication of, you know, what are the most um, frequently occurring words within this transcript. Okay, moving over to the usual adjective phrase identifier tool and here I'm just going to add um, useful phrases to the cherry basket. I'm going to create a category here. I'm going to name this Oxford Credit Crunch Lectures. So anything that I pick from this particular transcript will be added up to my cherry basket in the top right hand corner. So you can see that you have the same features within the collections that you're building as in the other resource collections I have demonstrated earlier in the training video series. And we really want to make this as simple as possible. So going over to noun phrases, bank run, I'm just going to add that to my cherry basket as well. Great. Okay, preposition phrases. So you get the idea as you can go through selecting different language. And um, if you go and check in your cherry basket, you can see all the phrases that you've been selecting. 
Okay, there we go. So moving over to the collocations tab now. And this will show you all of the collocations that occur within this corpus that I've been building. So there are only um, 12 lectures within this corpus, but al already we can see quite a sizable amount of words and actually collocations. And these are ordered according to alphabetical order. I've just clicked on C for collapse, and you can see the collocations here. Collapse of the asset bubble, preceded by the collapse of economic collapse, sector collapse, financial sector collapse. So really nice collocations taken from this particular transcript. And we can click on the web icon to see live web language with the same collocation being used. So there we go. And we can also add these to our cherry basket as we search through the corpus that we've built. Now moving on to the word list tab within this collection that I've been building. And this will pull out all of the words from the corpus so far. And these um, are organized according to frequency by default, but you can switch that to organized by alphabetical order as well. So the word policy occurs 126 times within this corpus. So now we're going to take a look at how you build a collection. So go back to list collections under your logon and click on the add a new collection tab. And you'll come to this very simple interface where it asks you to name your collection, which I've just named demo, and provide a quick description. So demo collection using open educational resources and then click on save and you'll see there's an area to add new documents but before we do that let's take a look at the different features that you can add so there are all these different activities that you can add to your collection to make your collection interactive such as scrambled paragraphs split sentences and so on so we want to select those. And then the different um, collocation types that can be pulled out of your corpus and different collocation activities as well. So I would recommend all of, all of those to be selected and then click on save when you're ready. So if you go back to the center to add a new document, so you can either select a difficulty level or you can actually just create your own category. So I'm going to call this TED Talks and I'm going to take a lecture from the TED website. So this is a lecture called Navigating Our Global Future by Ian Golden, also another um, professor at Oxford. So I'm just going to copy that in there, go back to the website. I've decided to add some auxiliary information, so information about the lecture. So I can just click on the auxiliary tab. This is where you can add, you know, when the lecture was taken, what type of license the lecture has been released under, information about the speaker, and then I'm also going to select the transcript of the talk. And TED allows you to copy this. And quite often the lectures are in many different languages. And the great thing about Flax is that it's a multilingual open source software. So you can be building collections in other languages as well as English. Images audio, no, not this time, but I'm going to add the URL of the same talk from YouTube because what Flax allows you to do is to live stream YouTube videos. So here we go, here's our URL. I'm just gonna pop that in there and then click save. And this will build the collection for you. It's a very small collection, it's just my demonstration collection. And you can see it here in the under construction area. And there's a little message that popped up to say, when you're ready, you can move your demo collection up to 
the finished collection area but I'm going to preview my collection which is just one talk from Ted and once again you can check out if everything's working The future, as we know, is very unpredictable. The best minds in the best institutions generally get it wrong. So once again, we've got the um, usual features, the word list features. And I'm going to leave it here now for this tutorial um, to follow with the next tutorial which will show you how to build activities within the Flex system around the podcast corpora. So I'll be using the same lecture by Ian Golden to demonstrate this in the final tutorial with this Flex language learning series.